Okay, so this is a conceptual problem regarding a hydrogen atom that is either emitting or absorbing photons and visiting various energy states. And what we're going to do is look at the two transitions, identify the n levels, the energy levels for these in terms of principal quantum number n, and then we're going to draw the two transitions on an energy state diagram. So starting to do this, we want to think about what these terms mean in terms of what n equals, okay? So the first excited state, okay? So we've talked about that actually being n equals 2. All right, so n equals 2 for the first excited state because we know the ground state is n equals 1. And so the first excited state above the ground state is n equals 2. Okay, so that is our hydrogen atom releasing a photon. Okay, so it starts here in n equals 2, and it ends in the ground state, at least initially. Okay, so then it's going to absorb a photon, and it's going to be excited to the fourth excited state. So let's go ahead and write that down. So it absorbs a photon and is excited to the fourth excited state, which is, actually let's go ahead and clean that up just a little teeny bit. Okay, which is actually n equals 5, right? So n equals 1 is the ground state, n equals 2 is the first excited, n equals 3 is second excited, n equals 4, third excited, and then finally the fourth excited state is n equals 5. Okay, so now we have that all taken care of. So I'm going to go to the next slide and we're going to begin to draw our energy state diagram. Okay, so let's write down a little bit of what we had. So we started at the first excited state. Okay, so let's go ahead and make that a little bit neater. So we started at the first excited state, and we went to the ground state, which of course is n equals 1, and in the process we emitted a photon. Okay, so the atom went down in energy. Okay, in the second step we went from the ground state, a photon was absorbed, and we went to the fourth excited state, or n equals 5. Okay? So let's go ahead and draw that out in an energy state diagram. Okay? Alright, so there's our energy scale. n equals 1 is our ground state. And let's draw in n equals 2, n equals 3, n equals 4, and n equals 5. Oops. Okay. All right, so let's go through this step by step. So let's go ahead and call this one transition 1. So our first transition. So we started here, okay? And the atom released a photon. So we can kind of draw that as a little squiggle line. So there's our photon that was released. And we can see that the atom went down in energy. Okay? So negative delta E atom when releasing a photon or when emitting a photon. Okay, so it went down from a higher energy state to a lower energy state. All right, so in the second step, this atom absorbed a photon, and it went all the way from n equals 1 all the way up to n equals 5. Okay, so in this case, an, a photon was absorbed by the atom, and the energy increased. Okay. So that gives us a positive delta E atom 
when absorbing a photon. Okay, so just keep that in mind as you're doing these problems because you really want to think about the sign of this change in energy of the atoms. So remember, it's negative when it releases a photon. So it's going down in energy. So the, the energy of the photon is itself is still positive, but the change in energy of the atom, the energy of that transition, is negative because it's going from a higher energy state to a lower energy state. And it's exactly opposite when this atom absorbs a photon, then the, the energy increases, so we have a positive delta E atom. And so that the energy of that photon raises the atom to a higher energy state.